how to add custom fonts to shopify step by step hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can create your own customized fonts and upload them onto shopify so let's get into it now if you're tired of the basic appearance of shopify fonts you can easily upload your own fonts so one little tool that i would like to show you guys is called what font over here now this is a simple chrome extension and what this chrome extension allows you to do is that if you add this you can search for the font that any website is using so if you really like a website's font you can go on ahead and search for it and then it will tell you what exact font it is and then you can use that font on your website as well so this is just an additional little tip if you are looking for your own fonts now let's get started and the first thing i will do is I will download this font over here that I want. So let's say this is the peanut butter or whatever it's called. I'll just click on download over here and this will download our font. Once the font has been downloaded, just cl click on the download and then you will see the TTF file of the font. So the TTF file, before it can be added to our Shopify store, we have to convert the TTF, which is this file, into a WAF2. So to do that, simply go into cloud convert and then click on select file. And then from here, you're going to go ahead and select your TTF file that needs to be converted. So once you select your TTF file, click on convert over here. And once you have converted your file, you're going to just click on download. So just keep this downloaded. Now we can proceed with making changes into our Shopify store. So to do that simply head on over to your shopify dashboard and go into your online store once you go into your online store you want to click on these three dots over here so once you go into these three dots click on edit code now just as a precautionary measure you can choose to duplicate your store and keep a duplicated version of your store in your theme library this just ensures that you have a original version of your store that you can revert back to so just click on edit code over here and once you click on edit code on the top left you want to search for base.css so once you search for base.css you're going to click on it and open it up now once you open up base.css scroll to the bottom of base.css now once you scroll to the bottom you want to copy this code in base css so to do that, just copy this entire code. Keep in mind, you need to copy it in its entirety. Otherwise, it does not work. So always do that. So what you're going to do is copy this and add this at the bottom of base.css. So once you have added this, click on save on the top right. Now, once you have saved this and once you have converted your word or your font style into a WAF2, from here, you can click on your assets and click on add new asset. Now it will ask you what type of asset you want to add if you want to create a blank file or if you want to upload a file. So click on add file over here and then from here, you're going to go into your downloads and select the WAF2 version of your font. You don't have to select the original version. You have to select the WAF2 version. So click on that and click on open. Once you open that up, click on done. Now, once you have completed that, you will see the new asset will be created. Now, from here, you just want to copy the title. So you can go into assets and you want to just copy the entire title of your particular content. So we can go into base.css and before i do that i just have to I'll just remove this and now i'll go into assets and we have this little section i'm just going to click on edit and i'm just going to copy the name which is peanut butter for our particular font your font name is going to be different so just copy that and just copy it as it is written in the file name then go back into base.css and then scroll to the bottom. Now in the new code that you added, there is a red section which is called name of font. Select that and paste in the name of your font. Now below that you have a SRC URL. 
and then you have the name of font file .wav2. Don't select .wav2, only select name of the file and enter that. Below that, you have the name of the font file .wav, and then you want to do the same thing where you only select the name of the file. Now, below that, you have a add classes with comma. So in this, you want to add h1, h2, h3, h4, h5, h6, body, p, and a. So I'm just going to paste these over here. And once you've completed this, you're going to click on save on the top right. Now in this, you have h1, h2, h3, 4, 5, 6, comma, body, comma, p, comma, a. And then you have the name of font family. So in this final section, always make sure to insert the font name. You're going to insert it again, the name of the font, and make sure you don't remove any of the apostrophes. They are meant to be there. I've, I messed up. I had to copy peanut butter. I'll copy this from here. Then we're going to add the name of the font file. And now once you have completed that, you're going to click on save. And once you have saved this, you can click on preview store to see your new store. So in this way, you can alter the font of your Shopify store. It might take a couple of seconds for the new font to take effect. So fret not, it can take a, a little bit of time, 10 to 15 minutes. Um, usually it's not going to take that long, for most cases, it's only going to take around five minutes to get the updated version of your font to be deployed on your online store. Now, in this way, you can customize the font of your Shopify store. If you go into your basic customization, the font options can really be limited to none. So having this option to build or upload your own fonts into Shopify can be a great alternate as to using the default versions of fonts in Shopify. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries or if there's anything else you would like to know, Make sure to leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say and if there's anything else that I missed out on, make sure to let me know about that as well. And if you're looking to build a header like this where it is transparent or build a looping non-clickable video or edit the font sizes on your Shopify store, I have detailed tutorials on all of those on this YouTube channel, so check those out as well, and I will catch you guys in the next video.